everyone welcome again and uh, I'm going to continue that BDD tutorial series and in the last tutorial that was first tutorial of the series and this is the second tutorial uh, you have seen how to set up that complete setup like how to install Visual Studio and how what the kind of plugins you need to uh, run a BDD uh, a script so if I switch to my NuGet package we install the lots of packages like uh, it is also there like related to an unit and all that if you don't know how to set up this please watch the previous video it will really help you configure this thing and will provide the link in description box if you uh, if you get any kind of problem to search the tutorial you can check just in the description box you can watch that video so you will be uh, very familiar with how we can configure the complete uh, setup for the BDD uh, we have seen like in last tutorial how to um, run and how to use this how to use that step definitions and uh, that was a, a dummy like we are going to just we are going to passing the steps here we are passing these numbers from this uh, in Gherkin language and we are going to implement it in our step definition in this video we will see then the real time how can we use a browser how can we open a browser or how can we we can uh, proceed um, in the positive way to this tutorial so uh, for automation we need a website to automate uh, for this BDD so right now uh, I'm gonna suggest you just go on Google and search for the selenium test uh, you can see this selenium easy test you can write simply here on the google selenium easy test so you will found it link here selenium easy.com and here is their website like best demo website for the practice so this is the site where you can practice your automation script or you can learn a script so inside this you can see the number of different different forms are there so let's just start with this and uh, let's check how can we work with this so the very first in the my feature file i'm going to create another scenario like uh, open browser we are going to pass a scenario uh, in the working language and this is very simple language just so you need to use the given and and when so the scenario name will be like open browser open browser uh, it's your first step during the uh, during the BDD frame BDD automation you just need to write a script here and a test case here in Gherkin language so uh, what we need I have uh, the scenario steps like given okay just 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 uh, for sake like I'm gonna yeah. for example I'm going to open this input simple form for example we are going to create a scenario where we want to open this particular form so this is simple input field uh, simple in a simple form demo so just open simple form demo see uh, what is your scenario is there this is the your name of your test case so given I I uh, we are going to create scenario like given I open the browser this is my precondition and I navigate to I navigate to that particular site so we are going to pass here URL when I click to like uh, I want to click here an input form <coughs> input form and I click to simple demo form which is which will be my next step here then I can see the simple demo form so this is my test scenario here so like uh, 
so what is the format like what this for given sentence says uh, let me uh, tell you like in given we was the pre preconditions like uh, we i need a open browser and i navigate to the particular areas when i perform some event some 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 like uh, I, i'm go i'm going to perform some action so this actions will come in the when under the when so when i click on the input form and and i click the simple form like if you want to pass a multiple event so you can use that end and if you want multiple uh, preconditions you can use end here uh, we can use more thing like word not and all the things so we'll uh, talk in the upcoming videos as per the requirement when we use this and different different uh, functions uh, different different keywords for the uh, gherkin language so will you will see them in next tutorials so similarly then will be your verification part where you what you want exactly uh, verify so i can see the simple form similarly this is my scenario so let's see implement is the step definition so if you if you follow the last video just right click on this go to definition it will create a definition for you and just go your step definition so here you need to enter the step definition here so open browser so to open the browser first of all i need a driver so i'm going to create an object of a driver so i pab driver driver equals to name chrome pab driver let's see if i implemented all this so no we need some plugin here again for the implementing this so i'm gonna I'm going to nougat package manager and going to install the selenium web driver just search for the selenium web driver and install it we are going to use the chrome browser so we need a selenium chrome web driver also so i think it's in process and it's done we are getting some error we'll solve them later and the selenium chrome web driver that's it now let's switch again there now we are in the step definition and now you will find the selenium library i guess yeah you can see here using qs selenium so i can use this similarly for the chrome driver i guess it's driver yeah here you can see it so chrome driver when i say chrome driver so it's already initialized the uh, uh, it will open the browser for me so i just want to like for the first step i do not need to write the step so i can skip this step i can directly pass here i navigate to the url so i'm gonna paste this here and i'm gonna just remove some minimum changes so let's see so i create uh, again a link home switch to home and I'm going to completely remove this and replace this with this so I have an object of driver so I'm gonna click on this so I want driver dot navigate to navigate go to URL and I'm gonna pass the URL here so the very first time i'm going to pass this url which says uh, selenium easy.com test so it will redirect on this url and the next step i click uh, when i click on the input form so i just create another step for this and click here 
so uh, for this I need a XPath I want to click on this field and I need a XPath so just right click and I'm going to fetching the XPath here now so this is the XPath I have so I need to pass a XPath from here so driver dot find element by XPath and I'm going to pass that XPath here directly dot click like I want to perform a click operation here so just click and uh, just gonna change this this single code so you need to change this in the minimum changes and it's not a good practice to pass this thing directly in the step definition in the upcoming video we will see how to set up the uh, page object model to perform this kind of things so we need to keep this xpath and all that object in a separate file so i'm just showing you for the demo like for the initial stage you can use this but it's not a uh, good practice for the industry level if you're going to work in company or somewhere you will never find this kind of uh, uh, flow so it's just for the better understanding so for the next step also similarly i'm going to create a new step and this time i need to when uh, the controller will click on this input form it will get the drop box and it, it needs to click on the simple form report so i'm going to create another i'm going to get another xpath from here and let's see just copy this and driver dot find element by xpath and this is the way so you can take the xpath and click and done so when you click on the center it's done so just make these changes so many of changes work and the last step is a verification part so here in the then condition i'm going to pass i can see the input simple box so we can use assertions here if you're familiar with uh, automation so you very well know what is the assertion and how to use that assertion so for that like i'm going to click on this and i want to inform, verify this form so we can verify this field so just click here and get the field here this field name so i'm gonna get the text of this particular field and verify this so first of all i need this element so i have element uh, heading text we can say heading text equals to again driver dot find element by X path and here we are going to pass this particular X path which we just copy so it will not take a double quotes in the string format so you need to pass the single code and this time we are not going to click on this we need a text so in C sharp or any unit you just need to click on the text uh, and the same thing which you use in Java as get text and here it's called text it's not my third so this time when I convert this element in the text format so now it will asking me to change this element in uh, uh, a string so you can do directly pass the string here as a variable or you can do in this way like here a string text equals to your element heading text dot text or you can say it's element so you can pass here element ele and ele capital ele so now you have text here now you need to use asserts assertion assert dot is true i guess you need to import this n unit package so assert dot is true if this string text dot contains what we need to verify just check the text here single so i'll just single 
for sake of your confirmation we can print this text also so I'm gonna print this also so we'll check in output also console dot right line or you want to print text value of text plus text I guess it's done let's build the project and run the scenario tool or oh no we don't want this and we just want to build this the build is success and you can see a scenario here which is called open simple form just right click on this and run on the select if you are not getting this option you can watch the previous video so it will help you to configure this now you can see the browser is open and that particular url is loading and now click on the input form and it's directly redirect on the simple input form right now we are don't write we didn't write any code to close the browser so it will open so you can see the test case is passed and the output let's check the output here so you can see the single input field so in this way you can work with a real-time application and this is this that was a simple scenario and uh, in the next video we will see how to automate this complete and first of all we will convert this code in the form object model like how can you use the object model how to can create a complete framework so step by step tutorial uh, we, we have covered some tutorials to create a complete framework with bdd so this is the simple demo so thank you so much for watching if you like the subscribe channel and if you like please subscribe the channel and share your video with your friend